Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Nasim from nasimweather.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up Google Ads conversion tracking for HubSpot from Subnation. Conversion tracking is the very useful part for getting success from Google Ads. If your conversion tracking is good, then Google will more optimize your ads for better conversion. Please don't skip any part of this video because I will give you a step by step process how you can set up with Google Tag Manager. So if you don't have too much experience, that will be more critical for you. But don't worry, if you don't solve this problem even after watching this full video, I will give a quick link on this video description where you can book a session with me and I will help you to solve your issue. And I have more than six years of working experience with conversion tracking issue. So no problem. Let's get started. Demo website guys and my HubSpot form is already embedded. And if you don't use HubSpot form yet, then I will give a link on this video description. You can go and you can sign in on HubSpot and make a form. So if you don't know how to do that, I also have another video already published so you can watch that. Okay, so let's see how we can track it. Okay, so I will use Google Tag Manager of course because this is the best and easiest way to set up conversion tracking. So first of all, your website should be connected Google Tag Manager with this code. Okay, just you need to copy and paste it on your website backend. Okay. And when you have done, then you need to verify your website is successfully connected to Google and Google Tag Manager or not. Okay. So for this, I am paste. I uh, am on the Google Tag Manager preview mode and just I am importing my website URL. But for your case, of course, you have to yours. Okay. Then connect. And if I have successfully inputted that code, it should be connected. So like this, you can see this is connected. Okay. And in back, it's also connected. Okay. So now let's submit this form and see what happened. So it's a inter valid mail. So submit. Yes. And go back to assistant. Yes. The form success is event. So that's event we actually want to send it to our google ads so for making google ads conversion tracking we just need to use uh, we just need to make our our goals on google and then you will see the three method to set up option at conversion tracking you have to set up with google tag okay and after that you will get your google conversion id and conversion level and for the video i just copy and paste it on my notepad so we just need these two important thing to set up our tracking okay so first of all i am going to copy the pixels id uh, conversion id and for making google ads conversion we just need to go on tags and we have to make a new tag for this click new and then select Google ads and ads conversion tracking and you must need to create a conversion linker tag as well just within three or four click you can make it so this is the option you can input your conversion ID here and also conversion level you can just copy and paste okay it's very as simple as that so this is conversion level and conversion value is uh, it's required if your uh, submission if you want to set up any value for that then you can send it okay so most probably this kind of field actually used for e-commerce so this is a lead so that's why we are skipping this part and the select form success okay so if you don't know how to make a trigger so just go to tag assistant and copy this form success and copy it and make a con custom event trigger and use the same name and then you will get this event okay select that and then save it so form success sorry 
form submit okay and then save when you have done let's check again because always i do prefer checking after set up any conversion and if you don't know how to set up because uh, the if you think this video is more critical for you you can book a meeting with me i will help you to set up configuration not only this one i have another tracking experience so i will help you and here you can see our google tag uh, google ads conversion tracking is working fine so when you have done then you have to submit and publish this latest version of google tag manager then it will start working okay that's all for today if you found this video was useful then hit the thumbs up and if you want to see more video from me then consider subscribing to this channel because it will help me to continue working on this channel my name is nasim i will see you on the next video till then bye have a great day